Hello everyone, it's Ugg here. Welcome back to another season of Hammer Ting. If you've enjoyed the content on the channel, please like, subscribe, ring the bell for notification. If you've already done that, and thanks a lot. Oh, what a long, long road it's been. We're on season eight, everyone. Oh, thank you everyone who's watched this far. It's been awesome, and we're going to do it again. Obviously, this season we've got um, relationships to look at. I'm going to try and store my ore better. I'm just going to try and make a more organized colony, but it probably won't work out like that. The big question is, will I get above 28 sovereignty this this map this season? Who knows? Who knows? Well, a large map. Um, this is the world. Um, this is a minor thing. They, they fix this. <laughs> they fix this. So, sorry, th this is at the same height now. Sorry, that's just it's funny. Um, yeah. I was just, I was moaning about it last episode, and it's just like the last season, yeah, anyway. Right, so here we are, let's start at the beginning, hopefully for people who've never seen a Hammer Team before, this is going to act as a bit of a tutorial, obviously I've played it quite a bit, so um, we'll see what's going on, I've never seen this map before, I have no idea, as you can see, uh, this is as much as I know, that's all I know about it, so uh, let us begin the Hammer Tigging, ning, 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 okay, right, so, First step on any dwarven path to success is getting a uh, a quarry. Look at that, you need a quarry. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to put the quarry. I mean, oh, they're sitting there chatting. Hello. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the quarry here. Uh, we can always move it. And I always say this every time. But ultimately, I tend to just leave it. Look at that, they're chatting away. Hello. This is really good. Hopefully, you know, they're going to develop... I don't even... know Well, relationships? I don't even know what the relationships are going to be like when, when they have them. I put that there so we get the coal dug out as well. Coal's one of those things you need a lot of. Um, I'll tell you what, while these things are going, we'll start exploring. Now, what we don't want to do is we don't want to bump into um, any of the cave nasties that uh, exist. Because there, there, there's going to be cave nasties. These people have got absolutely garbage vision. <sighs> we need a new lamp dwarf. Well, there is a there is a lamp in storage as well, which increases the vision range by seven, which is pretty good, really, is it? The last one gave us like thirty. Um, but we we do need to go exploring. We've got a few healing items, but we've obviously got no um, decent. Um, we got like no decent uh what's the words weapons or anything like that okay right so let's get some granite crafted so begin with the granite always want to start out selected i want 20 granite infinite amounts and start at 10 so that gives us we then get these we want this done Boom. we need this done always need blocks Basically, the mountain is built on these, and we need these. All right, let's get these done. Get that done. Get that done. So basically, you want to set up all these things on repeating stuff. You're always going to need granite chunks. The the, the mountain needs so many granite chunks. So I'll just move my microphone a little bit. The gr mountain needs so many mountain chunks or granite chunks. It's unbelievable. What have we got? Just going over there. We haven't got much, ta many tasks going on at the moment. We could probably like start scavenging these um, corpses and stuff like that. Let's get these. So just right click to collect all this stuff. Gives the door something to do. Uh, no, there's nothing there. Okay, right, cool. Right, uh, we need to move someone over there. Just hit M to explore a little bit. Looking for just the limits of the initial cave, really. Also, it gives us mountain law. We didn't want mountain law as well, as much as possible, because... Um, oh, is that just a dead end there? Right, we want mountain law, because that gives us technology. We're, we're obviously going to have to start trading and stuff like that, but we obviously get some of these stuff. We've already killed two green slime as well. We need to learn metallurgy. So, the first thing is metallurgy. Learn that. Excellent. Right, and then we get more knowledge. What else have we got? Uh, we have, can't do that because we've got no trade law. You get trade law by trading or doing missions in the above world. So you need subterranean farming. Cool. Right, let's look at the above world and see what they want. These people are going to give us. These people are going to give us a mission. So you go over here, get a message or mission. Ooh, acquire one trade level. Okay, well we'll just 
a mission so we'll sell them some blocks of granite there you go uh, sell that there you go uh, one of the doors will be out to sell that in a second right anyway so now normally I don't put an an a a um a scaffold a small scaffold right in front of the door but what I'm going to do this time I'm going to put it right in front of the door and there's a reason for that I get rid of these I've never oh no I can't I think this is just part of the door yeah it's just part of the door okay um we've got lots of stairs and stuff small scaffold right so I'm going to build scaffolds and I'm just going to build it sort of down because normally I don't have like um I don't put it in front of the door because you've never been able to build like stuff in front of the door before but now you can build stuff in front of this door so I'm going to build when I can do it I'm going to build an elevator here right have we got trade level yet have we sold enough to get a trade level yet with these people uh, almost oh we have require one trade level maybe we haven't got it yet deliver a simple lantern they want a simple lantern Give these good people, let's sell these people a simple land. We've got one. We haven't got, all right, we haven't got a simple land yet. The reason why we haven't got a simple land is because we can't build lands because we haven't got any metal. There you go. So we have to go over here and we have to dig out some metal. All right, just get this done. Got to get that done. Right, I guess what we need to do as well is recruit a dwarf. We need to get some more dwarves because we've got three out of five. We want some more dwarves. What have we got? If they're any good no 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 get rid of you who's next tough as nails that's good boisterous laughter that's good uh, th this is just good stuff well have you and we've got like they don't need that much money to start with uh driven and a gambler now nah, we don't need that right right nice Okay, so we've got these dug out, which is cool. Right, so we need to uh, just space out the levels here. So uh, we want to be able to put like another building in here. We want to not put it there. You want to put another layer down. So the dwarf buildings are annoyingly of different heights. <laughs> so. Some of their some of their buildings are lower. See that one's a weird, got little weird bits at the top. And some of them are high, you see that's high. It's it's just strange. You want this is pretty much the biggest small building you want a foundry, so you want to just make sure you've got room. Um I'll put it there. I also like building two staircases either side of my elevators but I'm not going to have like a million elevators I'm going to build one giant elevator to start with that's going to be my plan I'm going to just cut across there cool right so when we get this metal when we get this in when we get this thing and we'll be able to um, get some of this copper smelted so as you can see this cob here which the guy is getting we got to find better sources of copper but hopefully this this copper will let us make lamps so it's it's all good uh, it's, it's pretty good pretty good this uh start so far i'm quite liking it we got like copper at the start of the map the start of the map is quite flat take that out actually that's more copper isn't it all right we'll take that out and we'll leave that for the time being all right we'll level that out though we want it to be level so we can put in um so we can put in um rails rails is the first technology you want to run for rails you got to get this you got to get this thing as possible you want the cart the cart is a miracle of modern dwarven engineering you want it they're basically carts act as dwarves so we've got this thing going we've got this third thing here and we need to craft ourselves some ingots so we want to set up a nice steady supply of ingots we're always going out. right you're always gonna want ingots especially copper ingots trust me you're gonna want them and you're gonna want them forever 
then once we've got this smelted, once we smelt the first one, we'll get more options here. But obviously, we want to um, we want to get blacksmith in next, which will let us build better tools. And I'm going to go for better tools. But we do want this tray relationship so we can build bedrooms. Because you need bedrooms, because dwarves need to sleep now, which is nice, which is something they've put in this week into the game. Sleep in dwarves. I don't quite know where the dwarves are going to sleep. Um, obviously, small stone walk bridges, really good. It just lets you bridge gaps. And I'm going to need these bridge gaps because I'm going to have to build more stuff out this way, both ways. So, yeah, it's cool. Right. Uh, that's the dead end. And this is just... I uh, don't know where this goes. There you go. There it goes. So we need blacksmithing, which means we need a little bit more mountain law. How are we do for trade anyway? If we are oh, we we'll get our first lot of trade law by selling lamps. So that's what we want to do. Right. Um they, they have patched the game, so it might it might crash. You never know, it might crash, it might not crash. Um look at that. More social interactions. I love it. What you doing, lads? Yeah, we're just sitting there in a chat. Let's have a look at their relations. I don't know. This is the thing. I don't know. Torrents of other clans. One is 30. Yeah, ain't good. We've got to be careful about the clans as well. I'm going to segregate them. Like, you know. Uh, what we want? The Heart of Steel or we're going to go for the exquisite, the exquisite palette or like a diamond. I think we're going for the Heart of Steel. It's always good. So you can double click on these tooltips and it will queue all these things up. So basically, it'll just automatically sort all the, the progression path, so you don't have to worry about it too much. Which is kind of what I like to do. It's just because that means I don't have to keep back it, come back here and living up. If, you, if people see me in the season one, I was constantly increasing the size of things. It, it was it was crazy how much time I had to spend leveling up the dwarves. And now you just don't have to do so much. So at the moment, we're at four camps of dwarves. Um, I'll, I'll set them up like away from each other i think that's the way keep them separated as i said in uh oh, was that the experience oh look at that it's an experience but i literally have never seen that before <laughs> don't know why um no dwarf is particularly good at the moment so apart from this this is a feature you're going to see a lot of the dwarves getting trapped they, they like to do that they like to get trapped but we can deal with that <laughs> two three four how much how many is that one two three four five six six we need six tiers to get the next one so one two three four five uh all right six and then what i'm going to do as i want this dwarf breed i'm going to get him to dig through that way himself uh yeah, dig through now if i wanted to get him out quicker i could just put a like one of these things in here. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you stranded? Are you exhausted? What are you doing? You're sleeping. I've never seen a sleeping dwarf before. <laughs> this freaked me out. It's like, what are you doing? All right. Fine, if you want to sleep, you sleep. I think they get energy back by sleeping. That's why they... um. Safe and secure. Oh, they've never had buffs before. All profession speeds. Could eat. All profession speeds plus 10. Yeah, cool. I've, I've never seen those debuffs before, so they're, they're getting new things. Cool. Okay, right. So uh, we need to get our mountain lore up. Now, we will get our mountain lore up by just exploring the mountain. So I could actually set someone to go over here. i do that. And we'll get our mountain lore up. You see, it's going up slowly. It's cool. We just need to investigate a little bit further. That's annoying, isn't it? One point short. Ah, one point short. And we're talking about dwarves. You know, it, it works because it's dwarves. Okay, right. Let's put it. keep on going. We're almost there, though. We'll we'll have another point of mountain law in a bit. So, uh, you you can leave these things. It doesn't really matter. Uh, right. So 
obviously we're gonna build we're gonna build it around this central point. We we do need like one more mountain or that, which is really irritating. I can't I don't think I can get another point. Oh, just give me one more point of mountain law. Come on, go over there. Yeah, get. Yeah, lousy gets. Oh, actually, I've got a sneaky plan. Hold on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these dwarves and I'm going to see what equipment they've got. So at the moment, they've got like an axe, right? We'll give them a lantern, right? Now that should increase their. Which one's got the lantern? Uh, right, we'll call you Lamp. Ooh. Okay, right, so this one's Lamp. So if we send Lamp off to explore, so if you select them, oh, get rid of all that, and go, explore! Why won't you go, Lamp? Oh, because you're down hole. Okay. Now hopefully lamp can see a bit further than others because they've got a lamp. They're still giving me mountain all though. God damn it! <laughs> Come on now, lamp. You're supposed to be the hero. No, lamp. Oh my god. Oh look, look, there's a plant. That wasn't there before. Hopefully, uh, it looks like we're winning. Seriously. Oh well. Not worrying about it too much. Let's just carry on with the exploration. Right, what we'll do is we'll dig out this way. Um the good thing about hammer is it's pretty chill. Pretty chill. If you're new to the game, it's chill. So don't feel like you know, oh I've got to do these things like super fast or anything like that. It's a very chilled out game. So I'm putting that in there just to mark where the next tier of buildings are going to go. And I'll put that in there. Just carry on digging down. It will get lost. It will, it will improve its speed once we actually get, you know, the ability to trade and build houses. So hopefully we'll get that done soon. <laughs> Come on, dwarves. Yep, you see they what they'll do is they'll go to this place to get the um to get the uh the granite chunks because these these scaffolds use two granite chunks. Granite chunks used to be very important in the game. And they're not as important as they used to be. They used to be like you didn't used to have like ele well you did have elevators, but you had you didn't have generic rails, you had like just one thing to you had two different buildings to do. So yeah, anyway, let's do this. And do this. So I'm thinking that the houses need to be integrated. So we've got like four camps of dwarves. I wish we could sort these around. So we've got four camps of dwarves. I will try and maintain maybe just four camps of dwarves. Let's see if there's another dwarf available. What have we got? All right. All right, the fifty people. Born of stone. A canis father. Not enough coins. Okay, well, we'll get rid of you. Sense of humour. It's always good. And hue from rock. That's actually really good as well. How much do you cost? Oh, we're a little bit short. That sucks. We still... We literally still need one more bloody... One more piece of mountain law. Oh, dear. It's already going well. It's going so well. All right. So what we'll do is we'll get lamp down here. There's a reason why, because they've got this one's got a better vision range. So hopefully it will let me see a little further. That means I can dig a little further. All right. Two, four, five, six. So we need to take it out there. Oh, we 
We've got slimes incoming. A slime war. Slimes are really good. Um, they seem malevolent, but that's absolutely... Where did they spawn from? Why did they come in? Weird. They, they seem malevolent, but sl slimes make up a lovely, lovely potions. So you want, you want slimes. These people are having a chat. We're still missing one law, so we can't build a lamp. Why oh, legging me down? Don't worry. This is far from the greatest obstacle I've had in this game. Come on. Right, one, two. Yeah, cool. All right, so we just need to uh, dig across there again just to mark it in. I've done that right, haven't I? One, two, two. Oh, I suppose the test is does uh, a foundry go in there yeah and the answer is yes okay right so uh, I suppose we should get some f all right okay as we don't seem to be able to find one mountain or what we'll do is we'll build some farms so farms uh, uh we'll put a farm in here and we'll put a farm in here um so interesting fact about the farm a uh, ferungity is actually the the term for how like much fuel the farms have i'd literally never heard of this word until i started playing hammer tea and then i was re i was listening to an audiobook and someone used it in the audiobook i was like i know what that means it's sort of like fertility yeah so there we go <laughs> who would have thought that who would have thought that i would have learned from hammer tea oh i mean what i do want to learn the only annoying thing is you do end up with some like irritating bits lying around like you'll you often get the stuff like this so you can just do that if you really want to you can cut it out but you got you gotta be quite careful the way you go about doing it because the dwarves will get stuck and they'll get trapped and they'll they'll be the only nice way to put it is dumb all right so what have we got here so we can get um yeah yeah go for for fecundity Right. Oh, that's how much it requires, 20 or 30. That's how much it uses up. So it's, in essence, fuel for... Um, fuel for um, buildings, basically. All right, okay. So we've got mushrooms. Okay. All right. So they've got a need to eat now, so which is cool. Um, so we'll just craft some basic foods. For them to eat um i'll do the same thing here like that and then water oh no i've got two so we'll use water in this one here this doesn't use and get used until you get bones and you need uh this is a part of making uh cement or mortar so we won't need that for a long old time because you need mortar to build advanced buildings but we haven't got that far we've got our 15 mountain law which is absolutely glorious which means we can build a blacksmith once we can build a blacksmith that means we can actually make a lamp and we can do that first mission look at that isn't that glorious isn't that wonderful right so we get on and do this um you can prioritize things i want this done at high priority because um i want to build these lamps because i want to get my trade law up because i want to build houses for my dwarves to live in once we do this mission, I think we'll get... Uh, okay, craft mushrooms, craft water, we'll get all that done. Right. Let's just zoo, speed things up while this is happening. We're still low on money, but we're not using up a lot of money at the moment. They're probably a bit, a bit sad, but it's fine. Okay, right. Blacksmith, that means we can make a simple lantern. Boom. What? What's the range? Vision range is... 15 on those is the vision range like really bad on this lamp what's the vision range it doesn't tell me it's annoying isn't it we'll build like some lamps not some lamps some maybe five was the very first lamp we built epic how cool is that I think lamp lamp guy might have upgraded lamps. No. Yeah, vision range seven. So this lamp is better. Oh no, actually that one's taking it over here to be fulfilled. Look, there it goes. 
The uncommon simple lamp. Bingo. Okay, so that gave us like, did that give us trade law? We see indicated value to complete the mission. I don't know. Oh, maybe we need to get the trade level up. We got to do two out of three to get it up one level. So we got to trade them a little bit more. Fair enough. We'll sell them some more um, stuff. That's the technical term for it. Stuff. Here you go. Have some stone. <laughs> no. Whatever. Stone. It's fine. Right. We'll very soon get that done. Don't worry. Uh, what else we got going on here? So, what I want to do is I want to build some handles. So I want to get copper ingots made out of handles because I want to get my dwarfs. I don't want to scrimp on tools ever again because I normally scrimp on tools and I'm I'm terrible for doing it. Oh, we found iron. Sorry. So I need um. Five of these. And then five of these made out of copper. Right, this uh, this thing means maintain them. So you only get five in the whole mountain. So you, like you get just five. It doesn't do the whole maintain the amount in the whole place. So basically five. And that means we make a five blacksmith's hammers out of copper uh, and then we make five oh no not that we make pickaxes out of copper five that that and then uh, that's it really um Okay, right, cool. Uh, and what they'll do is they'll automatically go off and equip their um, their tools. And we want to get that dwarf, so we take up to five dwarves. Uh, born of stone, robustness, wisdom. Let's just check this one. Sense of humor. That's good. And hewn from rock. Yeah, we want you. Okay, right, nice. So we've got five dwarves now. All right, let's go back and trade with these people. Oh, we've already done it. Cool. So we've got our trade law. Sorry, I'm just not paying that much attention. Discover the God of the Fall. We're not going to do that. Okay, right. Uh, we'll get that done soon, though. But we need to get use this trade law to get trade relations, which gives us access to dwellings. It's absolutely glorious. Um, if you check up here in the mountain ledger, we'll see if we've got any wood. Have we got any wood? We haven't got any wood. We've got wood lying around on the floor. So that's good. That's good that we've got some wood. Okay, now I'm going to build some houses off this way. Obviously, I'm going to start, and these are going to be the these people houses. So, right, and I'm going to put them fairly. I would say I'm going to space them out a bit, but it's a bit difficult to space out when you first start. So. What we're gonna do with lamp as well. Where's lamp? We're gonna upgrade lamps. Oh, they got the simple lantern, which is cool. That's good. That's what we want. Uh, and then we do that. Actually, why am I doing that? I might as well put the house just here. It's not like they're gonna complain about the noise next door of the farm, is it? Or do I want that? No, actually, I don't. Ugh. Right. No. I've got to build houses with some level of priority, so it's time to go. I'm going to do what I normally do to start with, and I'm going to go up. So up we go. All right. And then we're going to build some of these things here. Um, yeah, we're going to build that there, that there, and then that there. What are these people doing? They're moaning that they've got no houses, probably. Right. How we do for trade level with these people? We've completed this mission, so excellent, excellent stuff. Okay, right. So we're going to go up here. We're going to build, like, 
I'm gonna be really slack and do it in my normal way, but I'm gonna I'll I will resolve it later on, but I just need to get it done because um I just need houses, so Right. So put some houses up there. I don't really want them up there, to be honest. Because they're not really um because dwarves have to go back to their houses to sleep now. They're not gonna be like really conveniently close, so I'm gonna sort out that. Rest assured, it will be sorted. Alright. But he says he says I'll make it differently, he says, make it exactly the same way. But it's such a good place to put the houses to start with, above the entrance. Okay, right, so lumber. Hopefully we got enough lumber. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, that's five. Good. Oh, we never killed you, plant, did we? Name. Uh, skills for this one. I keep... I always forget about talents, talent tree. Uh, right, nice. Okay, right. So we got mountain law. Oh, we got mountain law to get up. So we are. You got to bear in mind we're heading towards machinery. So next thing we need for machinery, we just need to get formalized learning. So we need fifteen mountain law for that. So we got ten. That's all right. That's all right. Ideally, we're probably going to need cooking as well, because we haven't got a cookhouse yet, have we? What a, what a day. What a day it's been. Okay, right. Uh, speed this up, because this is going to take a while to get all this built, because the people are using absolutely garbage tools, so... But we still got a little bit of outdated equipment. But as you can see, they're just getting this done pretty quickly. God, it's weird that the game runs. Right. Stavros Sovereignty. Learn, formalize learning. Well, we need to do that. So we've slowed things down. Game has taken us on the course to... Um... It's obviously encouraging us to go for the machinery. Because, look, that's the next one we want to go for. So we get Dwarven maps, parchments, which are a bit of rubbish. But we get educated populace and two sovereignty. But well, it's good. But it lets us build um, one of these workshops. An arcane workshop where we, you know, where we get some stuff built. We, we can see it needs pillars though. Or it needs beams. So what we're going to do, you build beams here. See there's the beam. And we're going to say, oh, no. build us some copper beams. Um... Not loads of them though, I'm like 10. For the time being. For the time being. I know, I know. Right. What else we got? We need to get this because it gives us access to storage, which I do want quite badly. What have we got? We're just waiting for pillars. Have we got. Are we making pillars? We haven't got pillars queued up. Naughty. What am I like? You're a fool, like. That's what you are. This is the most important thing. I need to build pillars so we can build houses. Uh, well, I actually put it there. Okay, right. Yeah, we're all just short of pillars. A bit short of wood. Right, so we need to see whether these... Oh, we haven't got much money. Fine, let's just trade with these people. What can we sell these people? We can sell them blocks. And we can sell them lanterns. So beginneth the great selling of everything. And we can sell them these... That... Oh, we won't sell them that yet. Okay, um, and then we can buy. They haven't got any lumber for sale. As we trade with them, they reveal more of the map, so we'll get. We need to find another place that's actually got lumber. Very irritating. We haven't got lumber. You you can't make um, lumber out of. You can't make houses out of like, um, what's the word, out of just granite, which is ridiculous in my mind. Right. 
this is coming along we need to we do need to get rid of that thing right well, we'll get we'll do that to get the um hold uh, yeah, we got lots of copper on the floor over there oh he's making stuff All right oh, we're not going to be doing that anytime soon acquire 30 mountain law got to arcane workshop all right well mountain home construct one dwelling well we're working on these dwellings aha what are these people oh now these people sell bloody what do you want what's your mission okay do that i'll have that and then a grave poppy and jelly cake right grave poppies we get from um a, a, a building we find inside the mountain Oh, we got dwarves sleeping, or they're just chatting. I haven't looked at any of the social stuff. Let's look at the social stuff. How you doing? Uh, I'm not sure. Is it is it going up? Is it going down? Considered Lamp to be their colleague. Everyone's colleagues. They like talking about we'd love we'd love lifts. We don't like this place. It's rubbish. It isn't made of lifts. I agree. I absolutely, 100%, totally agree. So, my dwarves don't have. We need the vaults. We need vaults. Oh, we've got 11 monies. We've got no. Um, we can build a a small vault, which is a granite pillar and pillar of copper ingots. So we'll put. Um, I'll tell you what. We'll put a small vault down here. It doesn't really matter for the time being. Just. It's useful to have. It increases the amount of money we can gather. We we need a lumber farm though. That's what we need. What do we get for doing this mission anyway? It doesn't tell us. Does it tell us what the reward is? Oh, we get trade law. Oh, that's good. That's cool. Okay, what do we get for doing this then? Uh, we get... A win con that's a win condition that we're not doing that we get mountain law 25 for doing that we get mountain law 5 to doing that wow it takes mountain law to gain mountain law and we need to construct a dwelling which means we get five mountain law for doing that i mean i'm not overly excited but i mean you know it's coming along have we not built these pillars yet Oh my god! I I'd be like a bitch, but could you make some fucking pillars? Thank you. You can pause jobs so they actually prioritise doing other things. I want five pillars so I can um make these houses. Right, there you go. Carry on with that then. Right. So hopefully we'll get these houses built in a second. All right. Here we go, building, 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 building. Boom, we've built a first house. Right, uh, now we need to assign some a dwelling to it. Uh, yep, go on then. It makes dwarves happy to have places to sleep. I wonder if they've changed the layout of it at all. No, it's just pretty the same as it's always been. Right, now we get another one. Cool. How are we doing for um, uh, gauze? We haven't got a lot of gauze. Gauze are like health things. Oh, more slimes turning up there. I mean, this is uh, the number of green slimes we've killed. It's good. Well, we'll we'll get um, first aid in a minute. So we've got like 15 mountain law. So we need to. I think we need to probably get medicine. Well, it's a crane flying here. As long as it stays behind my monitor, we'll be all right. Uh, I'll have to get that in a sec. Okay, sorry. It's just real life interrupting my gaming. All right. Um, 
to here. So we need advanced casting, but I'm going to go for medicine. Then I go for medicine because I want to build um, the infirmary. Infirmary is like really useful. They're like super useful. Okay. Cool. Um, right, we need to check out these people. Uh, they're waiting for one block of granite. It's very lame. It's just like, come on now. Um, we need to trade with this place to get more. What can we sell them? What do they like to buy? Um, oh, we should make lanterns. Everyone likes lanterns at the, in the early game. Uh, lanterns. We should maintain a supply of lanterns. Just have five. Always make five lanterns, right? We're waiting for copper ingots. Oh. You should never really have, like, ten and ten. Because they'll never stop making them. See that there's got seven. They start at five, so they're like they're happy with seven out of ten. It means you got enough backlog to keep, be going with, but you um, you don't just go crazy and build like an infinite number of um, like an infinite number of um, pillars or like anything really. So that's enough to keep this thing going, so we can actually make some other stuff. Everyone got like pickaxes now. Then Are you all geared up. Yeah, I love it. It's actually working. I'm actually. Oh, that crane flies back. Okay, so this is coming along. We've got a copper bar problem sorted out. This will be leveled off, so it doesn't look so weird. Um, it's all good. But we should probably dig through there so I can get from this side to the other side a little faster. Okay, let's speed it up. Right. Um, trade. We need to sell these people some funky stuff. What have we got to sell them? They want granite pillars. Let's sell them a bunch of stuff. Right. Okay, right, so we're just waiting for this to sort of be complete. I, I'm waiting for more... Is it wood? Yeah, I need wood. There's one wood there. Um, I think we might be all right, actually. Right, let's sign another dwelling. Oh, yeah, we're going to be all right. I think we're just like maybe one wood short. No, there's one wood on the floor. They can go out of that. That's good. I reckon they're going to do it. Um, I want to... Yeah. Good. That'll do a bit. Someone will go and grab that reclaimed lumber in a bit. Waiting for lumber. Wow. Eventually they'll do it. We could give that a high priority so they actually get on and build it. Come on. Nice. That means someone along to build this. Excellent. Um, everyone's got houses. Cool. Which is really important because, like, all my dwarves need places to sleep, which is cool. Uh, they're working on that. That's coming along. This will be done soon, and then we can focus on getting deeper, going deeper underground. But we do need to keep on uh, handing out stuff to these people. One, two, three, four, five, six. That across there. Oh, bugger. I should just measure it by the small foundry, shouldn't I? Yeah, no oh, well. I'll put that in there so it's not all weird. 
Okay, so ideally what we're looking for is um, more minerals because we are racing towards racing towards having um, oh <laughs> another trap dwarf racing towards having a trap dwarf we're racing towards having uh, our technology so we, we are going to this machinery is what we want so that means we need to get 25 mountain long we've got five mountain long at the moment which is not optimal so we uh, we need to make some of these as well we don't want to maintain these though we want to build them as we require them because otherwise i found that your dwarfs just kind of go crazy and snaffle everything gonna build that good because then that gets that dwarf out of there yeah good so we'll start building medicine and that will mean that the dwarves start to heal see that one's we've got money we're all right we've got money we've got yeah money excellent okay or should i be decadent i should actually be decadent and start building storehouses uh adequate trade routes yeah it's just going to make life a lot neater so the technical term it's going to make life neater right so what we're going to do is we're going to store the ore here next to i'm going to put some ore there anyway we've only got copper ore anyway really at the moment so i'm going to put copper and um copper and iron ore in these things and then we're going to put another one down here and we're going to store ingots iron and oh you're not going to be do it are you? all right that's annoying okay cool right so that's coming along oh the dwarves are sleeping the bed over there chum don't sleep in that we're doing Oh, is it a poor meal? Oh dear. We'll get the meals improved, don't worry. Everyone will get better food soon. Just as soon as we know how to cook. <laughs> right. Uh, which means we just have to carry on, carry on, carry on looking for things. Let's carry on doing it. We need mountain law. Um, let's dig along to here. And we'll dig along, dig along that way. Oh, the, the thrill of exploring the mountain anew. Uh, right, we need to chip that off. We don't really want that there. What's that? What does that mean? What does that mean? Was he talking about badgers? Was that a badger? Oh no, why, are you, why have you buried yourself? They do this all the time. They're so annoying. Was that Manchester United and Al? I don't I don't know what these doors are talking about. Right. Anyway. I think we have achieved enough of the first episode. So, I would like to say, if you watched this far, thank you very much. If you're new to the series or new to Hammer Team, then thank you very much for watching. If you if you subscribe, you'll be kept up to date with these these episodes as they come out. That'd be absolutely awesome. And if you have watched this far, thank you very much. And um I'll see you for the next episode. See you later, guys. Bye.